Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. How's everyone doing out there? Um, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is um, day two of our metabolic jumpstart challenge. So day two, the focus is on exercise. And um, I've been loving that you guys have been posting your selfies or even just your workouts for today. Um, so that is great. I'm just gonna take a quick peek, make sure that I am going live in the group. I always have to check my settings here. So let me just double check that we're live. Good, looks good. Okay, so thank you for posting. Um, the, the workouts that you did, you guys are super inspiring. And it, I'm telling you, it really helps keep each other accountable and get each other motivated. So I appreciate that you guys um, are doing that. So just a quick review. Yesterday, we covered nutrition. And specifically, we covered eating protein with each meal. So we're just keeping things very broad. Obviously, this is a, you know, it's a small challenge. Um, I don't want to overwhelm you. We go much deeper into this stuff during my way to one way to program but for this particular week i want to give you guys some tools that you could just start to you know to implement immediately so yesterday we talked about nutrition today exercise um real quick if you didn't see the article that i posted today i posted it on my personal page so after you watch this video head just click on my name and uh, I made it public. So you can see the post I made about the article, uh, the study that came out um, talking about metabolism and how really as we age, metabolism itself stays pretty static. You know, we, for a long time, uh, it was believed that our metabolism slows as we age. Really, it's, it's not the metabolism that's slowing. Um, sometimes it's us that's slowing um, and that has nothing to do with the actual metabolism. So great little article that I summarized on my personal page. So I encourage you guys to head over there and read it. Um, and I put the link in the comments if you want to read the actual um, the article and then you can link to the study if you'd like. So anyway, today we talked about exercise. Specifically, the biggest thing I want you guys to think about is working in some strength training into your lives, okay? And whatever that looks like in the guidebook that goes along with the challenge, there's several works, workouts in there. It talks specifically about strength training and HIIT training. If you're newer to exercise, I don't recommend jumping into HIIT training because that's a higher intensity thing. That's what it stands for, high intensity interval training. So I wouldn't recommend jumping into HIIT training right away. Um, you're gonna be sore, you're gonna be tired, and you're going to be discouraged, right? So we ease into things. If you are not currently doing any strength training, you could scroll back to a couple of weeks ago and find um, the 12 days of fitness that we did. There's 12 workouts right there that you can do. It's basically about five minutes. Use those. Um, if you want to find additional uh, workouts here in the group, just go up to the search bar, type in workout, and you'll see all of the posts that I had during uh, the heat of the pandemic, um, there's plenty of workouts in there that you can do and you can follow along. They're all levels. You can add more weight if you need to. You could drop the weights if you don't need to, if, if you're not quite at that level. Okay, but starting to work in some strength training and keeping it very, very basic. I always talk about a push exercise, a pull exercise, a legs exercise that works the front and back of the legs, and then some core and cardio. It's very, very simple. I think it gets overwhelming when people feel like uh, they don't know where to start. But I'm telling you, just start, right? Just start, like literally, if you don't know what to do, open up your guidebook, pick one of the workouts in there, or scroll down to one of the 12 days of fitness here. Start with that. Start with 10 push-ups and 10 squats and a plank. Like literally, you can start with that today. You could do it right now when this video ends, okay? Take those actionable steps though. Stop that process in your mind of like, I don't know when to start, I can't start, that's not enough. It is enough. Like one push up is enough. 
right? Like, and then when you start to feel good, you'll, you'll do 10 pushups and then you'll do two sets of 10 pushups, but like, just get started right? Just get started. Nothing is too small. Like we keep, we got to think about that story that we're, we're telling ourselves over and over again. We got to stop that story and just take, take action, take measurable action. So um, that's all I have for today. If you have questions about strength training, or if you have questions about nutrition or about the protein, just drop it here. Um, if you have something that you don't want to ask in this, you know, public forum, feel free to email me. If you're getting the emails with the challenge and you have a question about something in the email, just hit reply. That'll come to me. Um, but I'm here to answer those questions for you. Okay. Um, so that is that for today. Um, look for your email tomorrow morning for our day three of the metabolic jumpstart challenge. Have a fantastic night, everyone. Bye.